the last event was in uh, 2015, so it's two years uh, since uh, DSCI was last stage. And uh, two years is perhaps not a long time, but actually two years uh, in the current context, uh, there's a huge amount that's gone on, uh, and perhaps specifically in a European context, there's a huge amount of change. But that's also reflected uh, on the global stage, where insecurity and instability are strong features uh, in the current global environment. And that's uh, adding to a sense of government uh, seeking change, governments are seeking to mitigate against those uh, feelings of insecurity and instability, and that's leading to a, a rise in defence and security globally. So the DSCR 2017 is set in a, in a different context to that of 2015. The last uh, decade, or in fact in the last century, if we uh, go back beyond before 2000, uh, defence was one of the prime drivers in the technology market. Now there's a paradox, uh, and that paradox is that actually the mass markets are driving technology faster and in different directions, and defence is seeking to catch up in many ways and mitigate some of those changes. Uh, all nations are seeking new defence innovation, uh, defence innovation portals, defence innovation hubs, defence innovation challenges, accelerators. Now all of these are really important and they all feature as a part of DSCI because countries are seeking to maintain the comparative advantage that they have over any potential adversary. And part of that is, comes back to a more, uh, a larger paradox which underpins defence, which is actually as you increase the capability of a particular uh, system, then the less of it you need because you can deliver the same effect for the same kind of number or smaller number. And so economies of scale become a really critical driver. And in order to achieve economies of scale, you have to seek other partners who will take on board the system that you are seeking to adopt so you can drive an economy of scale. At an event like DSCI, businesses are seeking other businesses that they can network and do business with. Their business is seeking to do uh, uh, business with government, and governments are seeking businesses with which to partner so they can offset some of the challenge and encourage in industry to look out and beyond its boundaries. And so partnering is a critical part of it. And indeed, at, a, at another higher level, government-to-government -government partnerships are absolutely fundamental in this industry. So at DSEI, we're expecting to see, as we have seen in previous years, a lot of business-to-government activity, a lot of government-to-government -government activity, and a lot of business-to-business -business activity, because they are the underpinnings of the defence industry.